2000. When the final hammer fell, Christie's took in more than one million pounds. Buyers at the fine wine auction in London eagerly bid on old world classics. Case of that in uh, original wood, lot 250. Sales of a few premium vintages stood out. A case of 1959 Chateau Lafitte beat its high estimate by 15%. Six magnums of Chateau Latour sold for just over 40,000 pounds. The most expensive lot, 12 bottles of 1988 Romanet Conti. Chris Monroe bids for clients abroad. He says Asian buyers are driving up prices, particularly for Chateau Lafitte. When those things come along, people compete for them because they know they're rare and they know that they don't get them a chance to buy them very often. I think prices will continue to, you know, to increase the way they've been doing for the last 18 months. Demand for old world wine is surging in emerging markets. Meanwhile, weak currencies and low interest rates in Europe are making it a more attractive asset class. Since the end of 2008, the leading fine wine index has rebounded 47 percent. Wine merchants Justerini and Brooks have been supplying the British monarch for 260 years. That was the Queen Mother coming to lunch and she won the port game. Profits here are up 48 percent this year and more than ever clients are buying on spec. There is certainly money to be made. Um, you need to be careful what you buy. But yes, this is a vibrant market. Prices are moving almost on a weekly basis. Today's auction marks the start of Christie's autumn fine wine season. If sales hold up like this, then prices may well continue to rise throughout the fall. Olivia Stearns, Bloomberg, London.